I'm going to find the sacroiliac joint. I'm going to, this is my general scan. I take a, a soft, you know, kind of fist here. And you got to get somewhat close to the patient. And, you know, my hand is here, and I'm going to spring P to A on the superior aspect of the sacroiliac joint. And I'm going to drop down to the inferior aspect and spring there. And I'm going to go to the other side, superior aspect. And I'm going to come down here, inferior aspect. And I'm going to go right at the base of the sacrum and spring. And then I'm going to go at the apex and spring. That's my general scan. And of course, I can go right up the lumbar spine. If I was going to get into the lumbar spine and thoracic and everything else. All right. And then we lie our patient face down. And what I want to do is, if, again, fence or stance, it doesn't matter which side I, I'm on. I'm just going to pull this up a little bit. Here's our sacroiliac joints. Again, I'm going to take a thenar contact here. My hand is along the pelvis here. Same thing on this side. I'm going to stabilize, let's just say, the left side, put a little pressure here. And with this side, I'm going to spring P to A, a little bit of I to S, a little bit of medial to lateral. Challenging joint. Of course, I'm always asking the patient, do you have any pain or tenderness or discomfort when I'm doing any of these things? Now, let me know that. Stabilize this side. Contact here. And again, spring this one, P to A, I to S, and a little bit of medial to lateral. Challenge the joint. And then I can do the genial. So I bend her leg, myself position. Usually the, her foot is in front of my shoulder, as we're rested on here. I'm going to grab in front of her, proximal to her knee, and find the sacroiliac joint. I'm going to use hypothenar contact here. I'm going to bring her leg up a little bit, and I'm going to spring P to A, I to S, a little bit of medial to lateral. I don't want to start doing this, because now you can see I'm engaging her whole lumbar spine. I either just want to just bring it up a little bit just to create the tension. I feel tension, spring. Right? And I can do this side without moving myself around. I just grab here. Same thing here, but now I'm going to use my thenar, find the sacroiliac joint, bring the leg up a little bit, and spring. That direction again, P to A, I to S, a little bit of medial to lateral. All right? And then we did the base of the sacrum. Now well, here's her PSISs. I bisect the difference puts me right at her S2 tubercle. And I'm going to take a little bit of a tissue pull from I to S. Hand is 45 degrees to the spine. Reinforce. Get myself positioned. And it's almost somewhat of a straight arm. And now I'm going to spring. P to A, I to S, kind of through the L5, S1 disc plane, All right? Then I'm going to slide my hand down a little bit to get onto the apex of the sacrum, pivot my body here, and now I'm going to spring P to A, S to I, on the base of the sacrum. What's your contact for that? I'm on the apex of the sacrum. For the, the base, you get the uh, SIS. The SIS is the difference between the S2 tubercle. And, just pour it and then I take a little tissue pull from I to S, so I'm on the S2 tubercle, and I get that tissue side, which already preloads the joint a little bit. And then I get myself positioned, and I get my body again, my sternum, my tie here, I'm right over the contact, spring. P to A, I to S. Like the calcaneal contact? Yeah, uh, probably some hypothenar contact. And then I just, same thing, I just slide down to the apex. I don't want to go too far down because now I'm going to end up on the sacrum, I mean on the coccyx or sacrococcygeal joint. So it's just before that joint, you come down to the apex, right about there. I just slide down. And then we have the one where we go A to P glide. And again, I'll tie it away. Here's our PSISs. So I find the PSIS. I find the joint line, and then this finger gets on the ala. I reach underneath here, find the ASIS, get myself positioned, and I'm just going to pull with my right arm. I'm pulling up here to feel that little bit of that shear of the joint over here, which is going like this. And this side, I don't have to switch. I can stay like I am. Sometimes it depends on the size of the patient. If they're real big, you may want to switch to get better leverage. PSIS, joint line, ala. Reach underneath, find the ASIS, and I pull with my left hand to 
feel that shear. Right? Now if the person's really, really ticklish, some people are very ticklish under here, you take the patient's arm, put their hand here, and then I reach here and I go over their hand. And it usually there's much less chance of them feeling ticklish with their own hand there. So if you got somebody who's really squirming like a worm on the table, you don't want to do that. Um, okay, so we did that. Then we can turn the patient on their side, this side up. Okay, so we flex the leg, straighten out the bottom leg. Again, and just keep supinate her pelvis. In her here, just like we did our traditional side posture position. I'm going to keep her leg. You can see it's, uh, you know, 90 is about here, so I'm a little bit below the 90, maybe, maybe 70 or something in this position here. I get my leg here to stabilize. Find the PSIS in her back in here. Take a hypothenar on here. I'm going to roll the patient forward this way, get myself up over, so again, where my sternum is here, and I'm going to just spring, P to A, I to S. Okay, my arm, my shoulder, I'm not way out here, but it's kind of tucked down, and I'm springing. And I'm trying to get this, I don't want to start doing this, because now I'm getting our whole lumbar spine twisted and, and involved. I want to get the PSIS in that area. Are you pinning her leg against the table so yeah. it doesn't slide anymore? Yeah. I kind of roll it, and she pin, pin her down, and then I just try to isolate and spring the PS, the sacred iliac joint. Then we could do the um, ischium. Remember, we said the a, now we're doing A to P. Before we were going, if this was the PSI, so we were doing this. Now we're going to get on the ischium and try to do this. So it would make sense to bring her leg up above the 90. Here you got to get on the ischium, right? So it's back here where they sit. So you take a Right on the, over here, I get onto the ischium. I'm going to bring the patient up high here. See where my sternum is? It's got to be by my hand. And I'm going to roll the patient forward this way. And I'm going to spring I to S on that joint. Okay? All right, so we did that. Then you can do what we said we were on the ASIS and the ischium. Doing again A to P. We got our patient. In this position here, before I bring her leg up, here's her ASIS. I gotta get my hand in here, get on the ischium here, bring her leg up, and now again I'm on the ischium, I'm on the ASIS. This one's going that way as this is going this way, and my leg is also bringing up her leg, and I'm springing, I'm turning the whole pelvis. You can see my sternum is right there. I gotta have my sternum, I can't be out here, I can't be here, you know, I can't be here. You gotta, you gotta get yourself up over the patient. So you can get and feel the joint spring, you know, in, in that fashion uh, with that. Um, so those were all those. And then we did, we already, I showed you already the delays and the knee flare. All right, so let's.